five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And the guy sings. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome. This is the Ramble, and we're here uh, until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, we got somebody to talk to tonight. Oh, yeah. And the picture, too. It's a lovely ex-wife. Ladies and gentlemen from the lovely lands of Oregon and Lake Oswego. <laughs> And uh, is it Oswego? I always say Oswego. No, it's Oswego. Oh, okay. Um, you say Oswego, I say Oswego. Anyway, um, uh, this is Ronnie Bennett. This is uh, this is an ex-wife. An ex-wife. How, what is it for? Is it three or four you've had? Um, uh, uh, I'm on my fourth. Oh, jeez. Well, come on. I've lived long enough. I deserve it. Um, did I have I told on this show? Have I told the Elizabeth Taylor story? What what Elizabeth Taylor story? When I was producing Barbara Walters specials yeah. interviews, we were interviewing Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah. And we did it at uh, it was interesting at, at that it's now burned down, but back then it still was around the western town out in the desert in Arizona that was used as the town in every western movie you ever saw. Uh huh. And uh, and she was it was a period piece and she was in a big flouncy dress like a southern belle sort mm -hmm. of thing, and uh, we were there on a day they were shooting, and so her uh, her number of marriages came up and the question was uh, Elizabeth you've been married nine times and she had the most perfect answer it hardly applies anymore but it still did back then 30 odd years ago and she said but barbara i didn't just sleep with them i married them all <laughs> <laughs> you know um uh yeah uh, my answer to that question usually is they say you've been married four times i said yeah and i'm going to keep doing it till i get it right yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, you're running out of time. Buddy. I'm running out of time. But you know, I went, I went, but 15 years. I think 15, uh, longer than that, maybe without getting remarried. So I went through for a long period of time not being married. All right. See, I've never, I have lived alone. You know, as childhood aside, you know, when mm -hmm. you live with your parents, I have lived alone for all but the six years with you and mm -hmm. four or five years with a man I lived with for that period of time. Other than that, I've always lived by myself. Wow. And probably useless. I mean, if somebody wanted to share my space, I'd probably be a miserable roommate, married or otherwise. Well, you know, I mean, uh, you shouldn't feel guilty about that. Listen, I know, remember Paul Krasner? He's dead of now. He's dead now. But he, he got married, and his wife lived across the street. So she kept living there. Mm-hmm. You know? Maybe that's the way you do it. You know, nobody says you have to live together. You know, I had a friend years and years and years ago, way back. I mean, before you and I were married, yeah. who believed that husbands and wives should keep separate apartments, that that was the only way to preserve a long-term marriage. Uh, I think that two people living in the same space constantly can drive you nuts. Okay. Oh. In my particular situation, my wife goes to work every day, but she's thinking about retiring, and I'm thinking to myself, that means we're always going to be in the same space all the time. Yeah, you've got a huge apartment. There's lots of places to go and close the door. Yeah, I, we can do that. Yes. Yes. And she's decided the bedroom is her office. So, you know, I mean, there's no way, yeah. you know. But, that works. but nevertheless, still, when you when you talk about, it, I mean, what what do you what do you do? You know, I mean, um, you you have to give yourself some space, and uh, I mean, I know a lot of very. I see, I Alex, let, stop there. Yeah. I don't think that's true. I think that lots of people. Maybe you had to. You and I were. Well, I wasn't 
but I was for a lot of the time an only child until my brother was born. Mm -hmm. But unless you grow up with a gigantic family, mm -hmm. maybe that's what makes the difference. Um, I, I said that kind of backwards. What I mean is that I think that most people want other people around them all the time. That it's not a question of can you go somewhere and close the door. It doesn't come up with them. That they like having people around all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know that that's true, but I think it is. Yeah, but but you need still. I mean, that's nice that you want people around, and that makes sense. Okay, but it. it what's the point I'm trying to make here? It, it it's a question of just not being in that same space all the time. Now, I, as I, you say, I'm lucky. I've got this apartment with a lot of room. I can pretty well disappear in it while she's in another room. But a lot of people don't have that. And I don't know if that would change. If she were a, around all the time, If if it wouldn't drive us both nuts, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I just think I mean, that you know I'm capable of driving somebody nuts. So, <laughs> <Yes>. you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she's married to you and I'm not. <laughs> that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> so listen, uh, one thing I mentioned when we first started uh, talking before we started this was uh, your hair is looking, you. that's actually a, a kind of almost a punk look. Oh, yeah, well, that's pretty old, isn't it? Um, it? What happens is if you lose all your hair while you're having chemo and it takes... For the longest time, it's just a little bit of fuzz on your head. It takes forever to grow out. And then, of course, it grows out at all of these different lengths you've never messed around with much in your life. So you do the best you can every morning. Today, it's a little punk rocky, you know, so. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm, I think maybe I should take a still frame of each of the last many <laughs> things we've done and do a, a evolution of your hair growing back well, in. A lot of people, and not just one or two, a lot of people over the years... I've talked about the banner of the pictures of me, like from age two till now, yeah. across the top of my blog, and called it a history of Ronnie's hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which, uh, uh, if you go to her blog, which is uh, timegoesby.net, you will see across the top there are pictures of her. Now, of, of those pictures, which one is the worst? Which is the worst hairstyle you ever had? I'll tell you what I think, but you go ahead and you tell me. I think me. the one when I'm 18 and it's very tight to my head and it's all very 1950s buttoned up kind of a hairstyle. Really? I you think it's the blonde. Well, that one's blonde. Oh, That's it was blonde? One. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't, when you went blonde, I went, why? You well, know? because it was the times, you know? But if, <laughs> we, there, if there was anybody who shouldn't be a blonde, it was you. Why? I don't know. You just you're you're not a blonde. That's what I'm stuck with now. I mean, it's white, not blonde or grayish white. But but that, um, that's natural. That's where, <laughs> where that's where it goes after a while. Sometimes <laughs> oh. it doesn't go anywhere after a while. You know. <laughs> but it, it, it yeah. So I mean, but uh, I I think it, it looks very good now. It's looking cool. You know? Well, it, see, it'll keep growing unless I have it cut, and so then I'll have to figure out something new. We'll see what happens. Well, you had your hair very short when I first met you, right? When you hopped in the back seat of that car that I was in. You know, I don't remember what my hair was Because then. I distinctly remember at least my initial impression when you came into the car was, well, who's this guy? Because oh, no, really? well, wait a minute, because your hair was short and it was dark. Okay? okay. You know, and then I looked and it was a woman. And here we are, 50-odd uh, years here later. Here we are, 50-odd years later. Oh, God, has it been that long, dear? Closer to 60, I would bet. Closer to 60. Uh, let's we see, I was... We met in 59. Yeah, the Old Town Coffee Plus. House was where I met you, outside mm -hmm. of it. In front of the Old Town Coffee House, yes. Yeah, and you lived right next door to it. Yes, I had an apartment and a house there, yes. Yeah, so that was your place of hanging out. So oh, and also the guy, the guy said, I'm picking up my friend Ronnie. So when I heard that, I mean, immediately guy oh, comes Ronnie, to mind. So you thought a guy too? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. Yeah. Um, while we've been talking, and this is Thursday morning that we're recording this, mm -hmm. um, the hearing with Joseph McGuire. McGuire. Yeah. Seems to have just ended. Mm -hmm. Did you watch any of it? I watched some of it. Yeah. Uh, th those hearings. I get very frustrated with them because I don't think a lot is comes out of those things. 
you know, because everybody's sitting there with an agenda and that's it, you know. <clears throat> and I like to hear, I like to hear one Republican say, I want to find out some things here. So maybe I can make up my own mind. I think a couple of them did that this morning. Yeah, well, I didn't stick through the whole thing, so I didn't, I didn't see that happening. But when I tuned in, it was the same old suspects going, well, we all know the president didn't do anything wrong, and he has the right to decide for himself what's good for America. You know, <laughs> bullshit. Fuck you. Blow me. Well, well, okay, it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> well, that's my answer to everything to somebody like that these days. Blow <laughs> me. Come on, Alex. God. I'm trying to uphold some propriety. Here. I know, I know. Well, you're the dignity of the team, and I'm the... Uh... <laughs> it's just, um, what frustrated me this morning with McGuire yeah. was that he had been, that the media had uh, promoted him to us in the last day or two as someone filled to the brim with integrity. And like every single one before you, him, whether you like them or don't like them, mm -hmm. they all refuse to answer a bunch of yes or no questions. And it's just amazing what they can find to say. Uh, you know, if I ask you, Alex, are you wearing a hat or not? Instead of saying yes, you start this long rambling paragraph about whether you have to answer questions about wearing hats. And it just well, drives me here's crazy. the thing. Here's the thing. I watched this guy, and uh, I felt sorry for him. And the reason I felt sorry for him it was very apparent that this was not a situation in which he felt comfortable. You know, he feels Never comfortable. Done this kind of thing much, right? He feels comfortable being in office, shouting out orders. You know, and he's not forty years in the military as SEAL. Yeah, not used to this. And so and all of a sudden, he's put in a, on a dais where he's got to become a public figure. And a lot of people don't know how to do that, and he didn't seem very comfortable in the role. No. You know. No. And how long, um, how long do you think gonna, is it going to be before, they, um, before the, the whistleblower's name is leaked? I mean, this morning, a whole lot of people were saying him. And a few people have... have been told the person's name and because they kept saying him and all day yesterday they were saying him or her that some of them know who this person is i think yeah um and i don't know they say that he has to be he or she has to be protected carefully protected because it would affect his his or her career if you or became a whistleblower because as this person seems to think something terrible was being done mm -hmm. by some people in the administration that needed to be addressed. Mm -hmm. um, and in particularly if it turned out that it was a nonpartisan complaint and a whole lot of it held up to scrutiny, mm -hmm. wouldn't there be recourse if somebody tried to fire you or not allow you to be hired somewhere else or tried to stop your career? Well, don't you think? Yeah, my question is, to begin with, we don't know where in the situation this person was. In other words, it, it, was it somebody that was in uh, Trump's inner circle or was it somebody who was simply assigned to listen in to this because a lot apparently not not assigned to listen in and didn't listen in he heard he or she heard these things that were written down in the complaint mm -hmm. um from a bunch of insiders okay and that and what impressed the whistleblower was that they corroborated in separate interviews or discussions corroborated one another okay so this wasn't somebody who was privy to the conversation. Well, so as far as we know now, everything is speculative until yeah. we find out the facts. Yeah. But my question is, I mean, you know, I look, <clears throat> nothing I would like to see more than, is, than, than impeachment. Uh, however, uh, the other problem is we got then have Pence. Uh, so that's not acceptable to me. I'm just saying we're a year away from an election. Let's have that be the referendum. You know, let's let's do it there, huh? I, I don't agree. Okay. That if 
if it's found by this inquiry, I'm never sure of the right word anymore that mm. we're supposed to call it, um, and impeachment follows, and I would rather, if the Republicans who control the Senate and are the jury, the, the jury in, in the trial, in an impeachment trial, um, I would rather see him gone now, that as a public statement in a certain kind of court of law that he was found guilty than just, oh, we didn't reelect him. He's done so much that is so terrible. Mm -hmm. I want him, I want him... To suffer? No, no, <laughs> that, that hadn't occurred. It's not suffer, although, it, you know, it wouldn't bother well, me. Well, this would make him suffer. I mean, an impeachment okay. would make him suffer because he has a big ego. Yes, yeah. but I mean that's you know that that the, the point is is someone that a person even at the highest level was held to account for wrongdoing, and we've done a real bad job of that in the last three years. Yeah, yeah. I would like to see it done. Okay. That way, as yeah. opposed to the election. All right. I mean, then, then you just fade away. You know, you go off and. You know, there's Bill Clinton and there's all the rest, and he takes pictures with other ex-presidents forever. Um, I wonder that if he is convicted in the impeachment, I wonder when they do that, you know, once or twice a year, all the living ex-presidents get together somewhere and their picture gets taken, if Trump would be included. How would you treat a disgraced president? Well, look at all that he has said about Obama. Now, uh, you know, I don't care if you're a Republican or you're a Democrat, Obama was a decent guy. You know, Obama wasn't an evil human being no. on, uh, on any level. In in many cases. And he certainly, he certainly doesn't deserve the kind of ire that this president has presented him. Uh, the, the, the problem is, is that most presidents never talk about ex-presidents. It's just considered not proper. In this case, he goes out of his way to try to do everything to besmirch Obama. Oh, do you know, I just discovered yesterday, speaking of that exactly, I just found out yesterday, I had somehow missed it until it came up in the news somewhere, that part of what he was asking the Ukrainian president to do mm -hmm. was find Clinton's emails in Ukraine, <laughs> on a surfer in Ukraine. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he won the election. Is this? But no, he won the election. Why can't he let this go? Well, you know, he just. We've is, all been asking that for a long time. Well, you know, I, I claim it all goes back to the correspondence dinner. He got it. He hates Obama for the correspondence dinner. That's where it all started. Because uh, he, his obsession with Obama is just unrelenting. And it's, fair, it's been horribly, horribly terrible for the environment. Everything that Obama got through to protect the environment, yeah. he's been dismantling one by one by one. I mean, dozens of them, dozens yeah. of them. Now, let me ask you a question, okay? This, this goes along with your old people blog and everything like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm 79. I will soon be 80. Mm, that's a big birthday. I guess. Uh, I, Are you going to have a cake with that many candles? Uh -huh. Can you blow that many out? Uh, just watch yourself. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm the one with COPD. I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, 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 I'm going to be 80. Uh, so why? let me just ask you an adversarial question. Yeah. Why should I give a shit? I don't have any, I don't have any children, right? I don't have any why progeny. Why should you give a shit about what? about what happens to this country because I'm not going to be around for the re for the real results of it. I mean, this is going to be devastating in say 15 years when everything that he did comes to, you know, comes to full boil. Uh why should I care? Because you believe in in the democracy, you believe in your country, you believe in the future. Mhm. Mm but why should I care about the future? I'm just saying. I'm just asking you. No, a, I'm giving you my answer. Yeah. How can you not believe in the future? And as good a life as we can live behind, leave behind mm -hmm. for okay. future generations. All That's right. important to me. Well, I think. We've done a terrible job of it. What, what you're talking about is legacy. 
you know. All the, right. It, I mean, that's another word yeah, for it. Yeah, we should leave a legacy behind that we tried to stop this kind I of mean, thing. I mean, democracies can't be perfect. And so each generation, I think, has an obligation. You know, what's the phrase in one of the founding documents? To form a more perfect union mm -hmm. um, is that we try to keep making it better and better and make it work better, be more fair. Um, each generation that takes power. And certainly I care what we leave behind. Speaking of that, can we go on? Wait, 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 I just, something I, we really I, need to say. I, uh, hold on a second. I have to do something here because your picture suddenly decided to get small. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on a second. Oh, there. It just got larger again. Oh, well, you know. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I've never had that happen yet in this. Well, uh, yeah. That's what yeah. makes it fun. Yeah. But do, isn't Greta wonderful? Isn't what? Greta, wonderful. Greta? Greta from Sweden. Oh, 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 the kid. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's just, I mean, <laughs> she puts pretty much a, a large number of our legislators to shame. I yeah. mean, the passion, the caring, the, uh, the, the speech at the UN was just stunning. Yeah, yeah. No. And it brought to mind, I, I'm writing about it right now, um, it brought to mind the, the biblical phrase from the Old Testament, and a little child shall lead them. Yeah. I haven't seen any grown-up show that kind of passion for the environment and the world. Uh, I, and and I, I try to figure out exactly where it comes from at that age, but it, it maybe it came from her parents. Her parents may be real. I don't know. But, you know, I kind of try, in, in my mind, I, I connected her. Do you remember David Hogg? from Parkland, one yeah. of the survivors of the Parkland shooting. Yeah. And those kids that organized that, uh, the, uh, the gun, anti-gun march and that sort of thing, they're all in college now. They're working hard, yeah. you know, they've got four years to get through college. But they're still, when they've got the time, working as gun advocates. Um, is that what I mean? I, I don't mean advocates. <laughs> um, uh, in their spare time. Yeah. But these are really committed kids. And I do, were there people in our generation when we were that young on whatever they found lacking that they wanted to change? That I, were, I think I think in the... Anti-Vietnam people, maybe. In the Vietnam era, there was a lot of that. But yeah. but then again, okay, well, this, this holds true here, too. Then again, in Vietnam, there was, they were trying to save their own lives. And that they could be drafted, they could be sent over there, and so on. Well, I mean, but in, in her case, in her for, case, some she, altruism well, too. No, in her case, she's she's looking country. she's looking at the world she's going to be handed, okay, and that she she wants to be able to breathe the air, and that yeah. long after I'm gone and you're gone and 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 Trump is gone, she's going to have to live with the results of whatever decisions are being made now, and so. Uh, I, I well, laud her. Been made for the last thirty years. I laud her for having that kind of, you know, that kind of. I mean, uh, but you see her speak. Would it's only five minutes or so long? Her speech at the UN on Monday, and you just say, "Yes, I will be there with you." Well, how old? <laughs> how old is she? Like four, four? How old? How old is she now? She's sixteen. Sixteen. You know, at sixteen, you'd imagine going into a sixteen-year-old's bedroom and there'd be pictures of like Justin Bieber on the walls. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know what's on her walls. Maybe a picture of an iceberg melting. I don't know. You know, <laughs> she's just wonderful. She gave me hope. Well, uh, uh, you know something, I think a lot of young people can give us hope. I think that young people today are far more aware of what's going on around them. Uh, than, than even we did when we were kids. Well, we didn't have nearly as much media. There's, I mean, you want to know something? That, it just astonishes me, the things that I used to have to decide what I wanted to know. Then I had to get on the bus or the subway, depending on where I lived, or drive, yeah. go to the library, go to the card catalog, you know, and on and on and on to find right. an answer to a question. Right. Now, you're now I can on. type a few words into a keyboard and I can have 50 different answers to the question it instantly, almost close enough. Yeah. So we've yeah. got what we've got going now is brain load. Yeah, you, you that's know. the other problem. That's the other problem. I mean, the other problem is you get all these this stuff online, and uh, which one is the right answer? You know, I mean, you well, want. Well, if you you know that's your job, you're supposed to know how to sort that out. Yeah, but aren't you going to sort it out based on your own biases? 
No, that's not what I'm talking about. And come on, I've been I've had to do my own research all my life. Well, I yeah. know how to work out what is truth and what is somebody trying to fool me. Of course, I'm I'm arguing with the research queen. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, as as a researcher, how do you sort out the truth from the false stuff that you get online? Well, there's some that's just obvious. If it's poorly written and misspelled, oh I get well, rid of that, right that, away. that's for starters. You can get rid of about fifty percent that way, you know. <laughs> and then you look at the source. What publication is it from? Who is writing it? Are they sourcing it? Are they telling you where they got their facts? Um, and there's much more to it than that. But that's the beginning. Wow. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. Uh, we always do. We haven't once talked about health, you know. And no. we, we talked, but we have talked a lot about the, the world around us and uh, uh, from a very passionate... And so good. <laughs> from a very passionate woman who uh, uh, will tell you, has no problem telling you what she thinks. You know? No, she's the best. I really, I just. No, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about women. 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 I'm David Hogg. I'm talking about you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I thought you were talking about Greta. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> hey, listen. Let's do it again in two weeks, okay? All right, my dear. Ladies and gentlemen, Ronnie Bennett. Time goes by. Dot net is her blog. Read it. It's worth it. And see pictures <laughs> of her through her entire life at the very top. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, what? Five years and still oh, talking. Really? This is okay. GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Uh, well, Talk like yeah. you've never heard it before. Okay, anyway, that's, um, that's Ronnie, and uh, we love talking with her. As you know, she's terrific. She's the best. Okay, let me... Um, let me see here. Here comes the boring part of the show. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let me see here. Let me turn on Skype. See, I can't turn on Skype ahead of time because some people call it in spite of the fact that it says I'm not there. But we're, it says we're there now. So now it's your turn to, uh, to call us, okay? Uh, and if you don't know how to call us using Skype, uh, just go to uh, gabnet.net and look over on the right-hand side of the page. There's a whole column that teaches you and shows you how to use um, a ga how to use a Skype and how to call us on Skype and to be part of the citizen panel. The question is, is anybody going to call today? Oh, boy, it's been a slow week this week. Well, I only did one show. That was last night, and it was it was kind of slow, you know. Um, I think we're running out of people who are interested in talking. That's what I'm beginning to think. So, you know, whatever. Uh, let me see here. Is anybody uh, getting ready to call me at all? Let's see. I think Charlie Wallace, it looks like he says he's a missed call. Well, uh, but here he is now. He's not missed now. He's definitely there. And it's the first time we've heard from him this week because... He, and he's he's going to be in an entirely different place here. Let me let me let them see you. Got to find you a little uh, niche here. Okay, there we go. And there's Charlie Wallace, ladies and gentlemen, formerly from Arizona, now back in Texas. Yes, sir. Yep. Austin, Texas. And you got you got all the you got the video and everything working all right, huh? Yes, first thing I did was hook up my computer. I just got the internet on about three hours ago. Yeah, and is it fast? Is it robust? As far as I can tell, I've only had it for three hours. Well, we'll find out. You look like you're much smoother than you've been in the past. Oh, yeah, well, I'm in a different city in a different state, so maybe it's better here. <laughs> well, you're definitely, def definitely in a different state of mind yep. being in Texas. Although, you know, people people want to put down Texas because they think of it as being this red state, okay? And yet, I'm telling you, I liked Texas when I lived there. It was it was really cool. You know, and I lived there yeah. in the days when they had the, um, the what do you call it, the bars. What do they call those things? The, uh, the, the beer bars or whatever. And uh, uh, I, I just, uh. huh? 
Do they still do they still have a thing where in order to get hard liquor you have to belong to a, a club? Uh, in certain states, like in in Williamson County, north of Austin, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like that in Houston. It was like that everywhere at one point, where you had to you would go into a club, you would go into one of these clubs. And then the hostess or the person serving you would give you a temporary membership card. Yeah. And you would have the temporary membership card, and then you could drink hard liquor. Now, if you just wanted beer, there were beer lounges. And yeah. you could go to the beer lounge. Now, those do those two things exist still, or are they no oh, longer? Only in places like where they have, have to have the membership and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Austin, I don't, there's really no beer lounges. I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that you whatever. was there ever mm -hmm. the beer lounge situation in, in Austin? It might have been, and not since, I first came to Austin in 74, and yeah. had been like that since then. You see, I was in Houston in uh, 64, 65, somewhere around in there, and uh, at that point, they still had the, the, uh, the clubs. You know, the drinking. So I only know about that because Round Rock, just north of Austin, is like that. Yeah. If I lived in Round Rock, I'd have to join a club. To, to well, it used to be that the whole state was basically a dry state except for beer, and so if you wanted to have a uh, uh, um, uh, a drink, an alcoholic drink, you had to belong to a club. So that's what that yeah. was all about. Yeah. So anyway, you may notice it's just you and I, you and me. Wow. This is what it's yeah, come to. I this... almost didn't because I am worn out. We spent all, my son and I spent all day to day unloading that big cube that my stuff uh, came to Texas in. Yeah. Did it get there I'm okay? Did it get there in good shape? Yeah, nothing's broken. I mean, this is a great, I wish I had known about that before. This is a great way to move. Yeah. I mean, I drove my own car here. I didn't have to worry about towing my car behind a big truck like I did when I moved to Arizona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, it was wonderful. So what and you I do great what, gas mileage in my car. What you do is you buy these uh, these pods, right? Well you rent them, yeah. You, you rent, rent them. pod and 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 they they uh, it could actually end up costing less than if I had rented a truck and uh -huh. driven myself in the truck. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, 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 how much did it, uh, well how much I think I asked you this before. How much did it cost? It was seven hundred and sixty dollars. Everything that includes their gas for driving the pod to Austin from from Mesa, Arizona. Seven hundred and sixty dollars. Right, running the truck alone cost seven hundred and fifty, and I still would have had to pay for the gas in the truck to get here. Right. So, so, so how much can you put put in this in this pod, or did you get a couple? I was of them? shocked. I, I tell you what I put in. I put in 52 boxes of books, mm -hmm. 30 boxes of CDs and LPs and, and DVDs, um, my stereo cabinet, my dresser, my telescope. I have an 8-inch telescope. I put that in there. Uh, and and uh, my bed. I have a full-size bed that, that fit in there. Uh, mm -hmm. And, um, God, just what all of I mean, I mean, all my dishes. Uh, on my kitchen table, all in the six by seven by eight foot box. Wow. It's just amazing. Wow. That's amazing. And 15 bookcases. Of course, I dismantled the bookcases, but 15 bookcases fit in there with all these books and stuff. It won't take long, Charlie, till we're in a 24 foot by 72 inch box. I mean, 24 <laughs> inches by 72 inches and, and maybe yeah. 24 inches high. Oh, oh with, okay. With a split lid. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for bringing that up, Phil. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know, we all got to go sometime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like you live in a pretty modern place. There is that a new place you went rented, or is that some place that you? No, it's rented, but I mean, it, no, this is about a thirty-year-old apartment complex, but it's gorgeous. It's out in this nice, quiet place, mm -hmm. but it's not too far from the highway, so I can get to Austin. I can get to the mall. I can get anywhere within like ten minutes. It's, it's, it's great. Right. Wow. And and they give you good uh, good internet service. You're breaking up a little bit, but not bad, you know. So okay, I don't notice it here. So yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's been great so far. I I only had it for about three hours, so yeah. we'll see how it does in the long run. So I'm you get a one bedroom there. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Just yeah. me. 
How do the rents compare uh, to uh, Mesa? Uh, it's a little more expensive here in Austin. About hundred dollars yeah. more for the same apartment I could have gotten in Mesa. Yeah, yeah, but that's not bad. So how much is that a month? You want me to tell everything? Yeah. I pay eight hundred and thirty-five dollars <laughs> a month. Oh my <laughs> God. That's that's almost what I'm paying. I know. <laughs> you're a gigantic pan, pan hey, pan have, you, over there. have you found out what you're going to be paying if uh, you're going to be staying and what the story is? Uh, have, uh, has the thing gone to trial? Oh, th that got moved up to uh, December. Wow. Huh. Yeah, it, it, it was uh, in... Uh, uh, what it was supposed to be this month, September. Yeah, that's right. And then it got moved to December because one of their lawyers' mothers had to have a heart operation or something. So once again, it's held off again, you know. Um, so that letter the about the heart operation, how much did it cost you? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> the letter. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, it's one of the lawyers. I know. Well, when the lawyer goes on vacation, you get a letter and you get a bill. Uh, no, 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 I, no. It wasn't our lawyer. Doesn't matter. It wasn't our lawyer. It was oh. their lawyer. Yeah. But I'll tell you, they did do enough talking, setting up this whole thing that was supposed to happen in September, that it cost yeah. us a pretty penny and nothing happened. You know. Yeah. Um, and they get paid anyway, by the way. You know. Yeah. I really think they're just trying to um, uh, see if you're at the end of your rope and they can get you to back back off. You know, well, well, uh, obviously, no. The the uh, the uh, landlords for this building are known for that tactic yeah. of trying to to literally starve you out, as it were. Yeah. You know, by by whole, doing one thing and another and asking for one thing and another. That's why we're worried that no matter what happens at this trial, they're going to lose probably, and then they'll appeal, and that's two years. Right. Okay? And more money. Mm-hmm. All right? Um, what, do think think paying, what do I think I'm going to be paying? What do I think I'm going to be paying for rent here? Yeah. Our, our lawyer thinks somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,000 a month. That's pretty good. Yeah, he uh, thinks. He says that, you know, that there's a good York, case. That's excellent. Well, there's a good case to be made for the fact that they never registered this place enough over the years that yeah. that when they finally did, they did so and overestimated the amount and that it was a whole canard, as it were, yeah. and that they should be, actually our lawyer believes that the rent should be rolled back to the 2003 price before they ever registered it. They didn't register it till 2011. The last time they did it was in 2003, and it was $500 a month. Well, you know what I wonder? Uh, when I got divorced, there's a computer program that all attorneys use called the DISO Master. And that, you know, they look at different things. Oh, she hasn't worked in 23 years. But this, this, isn't, is this isn't that. No, no, but what they did is, it, is it, uh, this DISO Master determines what your child support and your alimony is going to be and it's and it, the judge goes with everybody goes with this master i'm just wondering if they've got a thing for you know the rentals in new york where uh you if know, they, they can did calculate. phil if they did phil we wouldn't be going through what we're going through right now yeah you know yeah no this is something the judge has got to have this stuff presented to him yeah uh and uh we have a whole presentation a whole what can i call it? wasn't it is it a letter what did he make up it was a um uh, know, a draft a, a, or a, no yeah. it was a, it was a memorandum it's called a memorandum and it's the whole case yeah. as he sees it uh, it yeah. cost us twelve thousand dollars for him to write this thing up but it's a work of art and it lays right. out our case and i just sit there re every now and then i'll just read it so i can feel good yeah you know because i just cheer as i'm reading it um no, I mean it's not a matter that we are, you know, that we're not we're not the people that are going to have to suffer in all of this. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no way we're leaving this apartment. You yeah. Know? Um, uh, unless we get a judge that's so fucking corrupt that he can be bought off, and I don't think that's the case. You know. Uh, do you, you know who your judge is, right? Uh, I think we do. Yeah, we know who yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. And uh, your attorney, he was. 
in you know what was his feelings on this on the judge that you're going to get no i i, I don't think he has had any feelings but he does no. have a good feeling he does have a good feeling about our case and it's not because he wants to win he just he's even been told by the other lawyers that really the people they're going to have to settle with most of all are us mm -hmm. yeah so, so the other lawyers have even agreed with that you know that we've got the and and then when it was in mediation mm -hmm. uh, the judge involved in the mediation said as a matter of record the only people that have done nothing wrong in this scenario have been Mr. Schwarzman and Ms. Miller, yeah. and uh, they are the innocent parties here. He said that. Yeah, very nice. You know, so we'll have to see. You know, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I'll probably be dead before this thing ever gets settled. Well, that's a good thing. You know, <laughs> if you live to 100 and you don't have to pay rent, you know, considering that you're a pensioner, you know. <laughs> a pensioner? Yeah. Well, you know, with Thank this you Brexit very much. talk. And you're an with, asshole. Okay. Yeah, this, I'm a with, pensioner with all this and you're Brexit an asshole. Talk, uh, you know, if you listen to the MPs and uh, the, the things that are going on in Parliament, mm -hmm. uh, you, you pick up these words. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'm, you know, what's happening there is insane. Yeah. But Boris Johnson will be out of there within a month. Uh, I don't know. You oh, know yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody in, in the parliament is starting to wear the same hairstyle he has. Have you noticed that? No. Yeah, it's <laughs> like they all got this hair. They toss it around. Nobody combs their hair in, uh, in the uh, No, he, in he, he's, he's out of there. He's not, he's not going to make Brexit happen. And uh, he's going to be, he's going to have to, he's going to have to step down. He's got, uh, what, a month? No, a little that over you're, a month. No, you're thinking of what's his name? It's October 31st. You're thinking of Israel. That he's, no, no, he's no, got it's, a it's month. A, no, 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 he's yeah. right. Yeah, Brexit's it's October 31st. Brexit's a month, too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, so everybody uh, will be out at the same time. <laughs> well, Trump might even be out at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you guys are listening to MSNBC too much. Uh, he admitted to a crime. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Biden. He admitted he talking to Phil. Phil, name? stop with the Biden shit because to begin with, Biden is not the president of the United States. All right, and and but but Trump is, and Trump has cre has literally. What are you doing? Are you getting myopic blinders. again? Blinders. <laughs> no, those are your blinders. Yeah. You know, you're like the rest of those other Republican fucks in the Senate who are giving this guy a free pass when really what they should be doing is hanging up, uh, up on a petard and getting themselves somebody in there who can best represent the Republican Party. Yeah, well... With, with honor. Well, I think he is. Well, you can think all you want to, Phil, but this thing is an absolute criminal act that he just... Uh, yeah, all I, he did was ask to have no, a criminal no, act no, no, investigated. No, 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 he was, no. He was asking for pressure to be put on in various areas and to make life miserable for Joe Biden. Now, why he even does this kind of thing is beyond me. You know, this, yeah. this is a, there are a lot of people in this world who have been prone to failure based upon their own demons. Uh, the yeah. one I remember the most was Nixon. Richard Nixon. Yeah. who, who yeah. literally could take any winning situation and turn it into a losing situation uh, because he got the can't wait, okay? Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you have the same kind of situation here with somebody who suddenly decides, oh, I've got to make sure that Biden has trouble because he may be my competitor. And, Fuck it. No, you know, you don't, don't do that. Well, you don't it believe it, Phil, but it's no. true. It's there. Then, it's as plain as the nose on your face, Phil. And if you can't see it, you're an idiot. Well, you it's know, it's the Dems. transcript shows it. It's it the shows. Dems that just have him the asking for what's his name to, to investigate Biden. Just him asking him to do that is a federal crime. And he admitted it, that he asked him to do that. In well, this we'll and now it turns out, you know, it turns out the whistleblower may be CIA agent. The CIA agent. What's well, more trustworthy than that? Not too many. 
What do you mean uh, not too many? You don't trust the CIA? Who do you trust, Phil? Well, I, I trust. Uh, oh, you I trust oh, oh, you trust Barr, don't you? That, that yes. fuck. You, you trust the Justice Department, which is so corrupt now, it's ridiculous. I think what's corrupt is the House rushing to judgment before they had anything. Uh, you know, they they, they uh, come to the uh, party and say he's guilty, he's this, he's that. They didn't have anything. This mm -hmm. this is nothing more than an overreach by the Democrats. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. He's done and, far and, and when the and when the egg is on did. their face, the yeah. well, just remember run. this. I don't want to see any more shit about Biden and what he did at a, at an, at another date. You okay? told me to send it to you. Well, I uh, yes, I, I and I and I watched it. And you sent me something that was only part of what well, he was well, saying. Well, I sent you the full one, and then I found one which was the part that I wanted you to see. So, yeah, I won't send you anything else on it. You know, I yeah, don't give yeah. a shit. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying guys, is it doesn't matter about Biden. Biden is not the president of the United States. Trump is, and Trump acted in a way that is not right. Okay? And tell me it isn't right, Phil. Tell me, how can you sit there and tell me that what he did was good and proper and honest? It doesn't. Uh, reach the level of impeachment. It reached Just the level of mafia uh, of mafia Don. Okay, that, he was acting like a gangster. Nah, if he you was know. acting like a gangster, he would have taken out uh, Biden's kneecaps. You know, uh, what he did. He was, was trying to kneecap Biden's attempt at being president of the United States. Yes, well, he was trying no to. Way. He was trying to get the Ukraine to fix the election for him. Is. Biden fixed yep. it for himself. If you see... Biden what has Biden nothing said, to do with this, Phil, because he's not president of the United States. When he's and president, he never will be. If, he, if he does get to be president of the United States, then you can yell and scream about Biden. But right now, this man is president of the United States, and he's not acting like a president of the United States should act. And he can't be a whistleblower on a guy like Biden, who when he was vice president... He can't be a whistleblower on Biden because he wasn't there when it happened. It was on tape. Yes. He watched it. Yes, but if, what was he saying? He was talking about something that they were they were trying to do he because said, they were they were trying to get rid of this prosecutor because nobody liked this prosecutor. Even the uh, the people who ran the government didn't like this prosecutor. Right, because he was investigating uh, corruption and he was investigating Biden's son. No, he wasn't investigating corruption. Oh, they yeah, say no, that no, he no. was corrupt. Well, that's what they, hey, that's the same kind of thing that you peddle against That was a multi-country panel that wanted that prosecutor out. That wasn't just Biden. There was, there was five yeah, or six because involved. You had a lot of people that were on the take, and they all wanted no, the Phil, guy out. No, Phil, Phil, how do you know they were on the take? Can you prove that? 50000 a month to Biden's kid. Wait a minute. He wait, a minute. Wait, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Forget that. That has nothing what? to do with it. That's what the whole thing is That has all nothing about. to do with it, Phil. That has nothing to do with it. The uh, fact that Biden's kid gets a job for 50000 God bless him. Yeah, uh, he's sitting on a board. Phil, of you're trying to parse you this thing. About. You're, trying to, you're totally trying to shoot at ghosts that aren't there. Uh, right, yeah. there's lots of Republican kids that get paid more than that. What about? Okay. So, but maybe they no, do. No, it's not a crime. For a kid to get a job paying fifty thousand dollars a month, it, it is if they're buying the vice presidency. Uh, if the oligarchs and the Russians and the Ukrainians are buying the vice presidency of and the United no, States, there it's is crime. no proof that he that the, it he was, was selling out the vice from, presidency. Whoa! Well, he did. There is no. His there is son no got proof the money. Of that at all. There's no evidence of that whatsoever. Well, we'll we'll see about that. And, to, and to, we've lost Biden, audience since you started Biden, talking, you go ahead Phil. And have a, a commission set up to investigate that, but that doesn't deny what happened he, to Trump. Uh, yeah, he, Trump he, 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 a guy by the name of Kevin writes here, Phil, whatever Biden did or didn't do doesn't allow Trump to do what he did. Oh. Exactly. Well, Trump is just exactly. uh, defending himself. He took his personal attorney and said, find out where this Russia thing started. And when did uh, Ju Rudy Giuliani become a diplomat? 
Yeah. He's, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, you know, diplomat. Why not? No, but he, no, he's not. Well, he's he's a private. He hasn't attorney. been vetted. He hasn't been vetted as a, a diplomat, Trump. Phil. Representing Donald he, Trump. He's representing him in legal matters, Phil. Right. Not personal matters. Yes, not presidential matters. Personal matters. Well, it's personal to him that these guys are coming after him. Because you he know? has because he's thin skinned and takes everything personally. Biden's not coming after him except in the election. I need more. By the way, I'm gonna tell everybody that if we don't get more callers within five minutes, I'm probably gonna shut this down. Okay. You know. Um so um, anyway. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you drive, Charlie? No. Did you drive? No. Why? I'm not uh, driving tonight. No, 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 but you here. came out, when you came from uh, uh, Arizona to Texas, did you drive your car or did you fly? Or Yeah, I drove my car. Yeah. They brought all my furniture in the cube and I drove my car. How long did it take? It, it took two days, about 15 hours, so about seven, eight hours each day. Yeah. You, you could have done it in one shot if you wanted to, right? I could have, but I yeah. might have fallen asleep and run into a tree, too. So. Well, yeah, we don't want that to happen. You know. Yeah. Now, I remember driving across Texas. Of- when I moved to California, I drove from Miami uh, to San Francisco, and I took the southern route. And uh, wow. it was 24 hours across Texas. And I was moving. Yeah. It, it, it. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Texas I got is big. To, I got to Arizona, and the gas crisis was on. And I couldn't buy gas. Uh, so I pulled into a KOA campsite, and they said, "Are you are you camping here?" I said, "Yes." Okay, well then you can buy five gallons, and I and I bought the five gallons, and I was able to get to the California border. But yeah, uh, wow. Yeah. We've, been, we've been joined by Charlene. Hello, Charlene. How are you? Uh, oh, not bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I still need a few more people for me to keep this going. You know. Um, but by the way, Gan. Gas prices in Texas are about 70 cents a gallon lower than in Arizona. Wow. Really? That much? Yeah. During the gas crisis, when I was in Arizona that time, I paid 75 cents a gallon, and I thought I was, it was highway robbery. How much much were were you paying in Arizona, Uh, Charlie? Arizona's paying about 329 a gallon, Mm -hmm. and it's about 250 a gallon here. Wow. Is that your I, new house or apartment there, Charlie? Yeah. Beg your pardon? Is that your new house or your apartment there, Charlie? My new apartment, yeah. Yeah. I haven't even unpacked yet. I just barely just got stuff into the apartment. Looks nice. Is it hot there? Yeah. In fact, it's been hotter in Austin than it was in Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> You're bringing the warming with you. Yeah. Must be it. It was 100 degrees today here, and it's almost October. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, our, our, we do have some open lines, folks. Uh, I don't know. It's just been very slow lately. And, uh, you know, I'm beginning to think that I should take every Tuesday off and every Wednesday and every Thursday and every Friday. <laughs> uh, so it scared me. I called. Huh? <laughs> I said, you scared me. You're not here on Tuesday anymore. I said, oh, my God, he's going to leave. Well, I'm, I would like to be here on, on Tuesday. Well, we'll get back to the Trump because I, I, I just, you know, I, I, I've gotten to the point where I just don't like to hear anybody who thinks they can defend the actions of this guy who is uh, acting in, he's just not representing us as a decent, f- fine no, human being. He's representing Trump. That's- he cares about Trump. He's doing the business of Donald Trump. And yeah, last night you were saying he's acting like he's in uh, The Godfather, like he's a mafia guy or something, you know? Yeah. Well, he's he's acting like a gangster, you know. Uh, and uh, this uh, this this uh, former comedian who's the head of uh, of the Ukraine is like his toady, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, in fact, he came out complaining today where is it complaining if I have it here well wait a minute Uh, yes he bristled at the release of his comments 
from a private conversation with U.S. President Donald Trump, which caused him some embarrassment at home. <laughs> the rough transcript of Trump's call with Ukrainian President uh, Vladimir Zelensky, released on Wednesday, shows that Trump pressed the Ukraine to look into his Democratic political rival Joe Biden. The July 25th call is now at the center of the U.S. impeachment probe. I think such things, such conversations between heads of independent states, they shouldn't be published. Zelensky told reporters at the U.N. General Assembly in New York. He didn't indicate whether the White House warned him that his comments would be released. During the conversation, Zelensky appears to make an effort to stay in Trump's good graces, telling him at least twice that he is absolutely right and assuring Trump they are great friends. Yes, Phil. Uh, that's incorrect. He asked him to look into Hunter Biden, not Joe Biden. Uh, he, uh, of whatever Zelensky said here, he said, I'm just simply quoting Zelensky. Yeah, I heard the transcript, and um, it, w it was read It doesn't on, uh, matter about the transcript. This is what Zelensky said, Phil, whether he I, was right or wrong in right, what he said. I heard what Trump supposedly said. And it was that he asked them to look into Hunter Biden, not Joe Biden. All I'm saying is that he, uh, it, it said here that, uh, um, anyway, right. we're making small, the fact is the President of the That's United States me. is acting like a fucking thug and doing business for himself with, wor for, with world leaders to help his election campaign. How do you feel about yeah. that, Phil? Well... If I okay, had one of those yeah, yeah. drum beats, uh, you know, uh, bada boom, uh, the guy's a comedian. You know, uh, bottom line is Trump. I don't think did anything wrong. Tulsi Gabbard said that she uh, uh, feels that this doesn't meet the grounds for impeachment, and the Democrats. You got one uh, fucking person, fast. one fucking person who says no, it does. There's also there's a uh, oh there's guy another from there's Jersey. another Democrat. Uh, okay, fine. Another there's Democrat another Democrat. From Jersey, there also happen uh, to be 212. What is it? 212 Democrats that feel that impeachment is a possibility. Yeah. No, it was 150. I think. No, it's up to 212, something like that. They need what? 216, 218, something like that. 218. Well, I think. Yeah. Let them go for it. You know, they haven't voted yet. All this is is hot air. When they vote, and those 30 have to go back to the uh, Phil, areas you're, that Trump you're, you're won. defending a criminal. Okay. He's not. Yeah, okay. Well, those defenders of Trump have to go back to their constituents and get voted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Just send Joe and his son my way. Oh, come on, Phil. Hmm. He's ready to lock him up. Yeah. Like Hillary. They were going to lock, yeah, her, lock up. her up. <laughs> yeah, Hil yeah, Hillary. Yeah, Hillary's funny how now people shouting that, lock her up or in prison. Didn't he also ask that guy from, uh, it was the Ukraine, right? He yeah. asked him if he knew where her server was or something like that, too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so he had to bring Hillary up. They had to bring Hillary up again. News. Yeah, he can't let yeah. old, he can't let old dogs lie. He can't yeah, hear Hillary good. tonight. Uh, uh, she's saying that uh, uh, that he didn't win the uh, election. That he suppressed voters. That he did all sorts of things, and that's why she lost. She still she still is Phil, uh, Phil, delusional. Phil, Phil, she had three million votes more than he did. He did not win a yeah. popular yeah. vote. America. In a, on a popular basis, did not want him to be president of the United States. It this was, was a whole thing that was Jim, that was Jimmy rigged by using the electoral college and uh, uh, so so yours delusion gerrymandering no and gerrymandering and things like that. Not yeah. that the, you know that you feel your vote should count, Phil. It did. No, it didn't. No, it yeah, didn't, Phil. Because I I put a vote out there. I don't care if in California they didn't vote for him. You know, I did Phil, what I did. what I'm saying is is the three million people, and that's a lot of people, did not vote uh, voted for Hillary over him. 
She simply That's lost right. because of the Electoral College, which has been gerrymandered for years now to where it doesn't even become a, sure. a, a decent, wait a minute, hold on a second, let me finish, a decent reflection of the pop body politic. The fact of the matter is that three times, I think, in the last 20 years, we have had electoral votes beating out the popular vote, and something there has got to be changed. Well, you know, this is the way it is. No, don't and, say and this she is she lost a, fair and square. No, it, 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 she didn't. She did not lose the popular vote. But she hasn't. Matter. Wait a minute. But she hasn't been going, going around grousing about that as much as Trump has kept going after her for absolutely nothing. It's over. Thought, it's over, Donald. Just I let thought this was a. Let's, representative Republic. Let's sleeping. It's not the popular vote. It's a representative republic no, where states. It, no, it's I, I vote, and if all the people that vote with me uh, have the most votes for somebody, that person should win. This is what happened in high school when we held an election in high but school. Wait a minute. They, they didn't say, oh, you know, the people who are in that part of the building have so many votes, and the people in this part. Of, no, it's whoever got the most votes became class yeah. president. But this is states, and that's the way it was set no, up. No, Phil, Phil, you like it because it only worked in your favor. If the last time it had worked in Hillary's favor, you'd be griping about it right now. I like yeah. hanging Chad, too. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, Charlene. yes, yes, Charlene. Well, that was the first thing he did. I mean, the, the, the day he came into office, that mm -hmm. happened. Then he lied about his uh, crowd size at the inauguration the next I mean, it, it's just been one thing after another. I don't know how many incidents there have been, and it's it started to look like he was going to get a, away with anything, and I think he thought he was going to get away with anything. Look at what he did. He called the guy. Well, so far, so far, so far, so far, so far, Charlene, he has gotten away with anything. I know, and I'm, I'm like, I'm hoping that something is going to finally happen, because I can't even believe that this happened now. I mean, finally, something happened that, you know, Nancy Pelosi... I guess because he's just been getting away with it, and it's not funny anymore. It didn't uh, uh, your you know your ex-wife? She said that it's not funny anymore. Like he used to be a little amusing, it's not funny now. It's just disgusting that we have this guy in here and he's acting like a thug, and he's getting away with it. And he was going to do it again in this election, the same thing again. You know, rig the whole election again, right? Yeah. And you know what's going to be funny, Alice? We have to wait to see. What what if? He went after Biden like this, right? And mm -hmm. and jeopardized himself so bad. What if Biden isn't even the candidate finally in the end, right? Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, I mean, it's 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 terrible. It's terrible. It's horrible. But anyway. this guy has gotten away with Tony it. Tony just called in and now he walked away. <laughs> he always says that. He Wait, he's probably away. realized oh, how, look at how that. Huh? insane this conversation is. He wants us to see his uh, little hutch too. Phil, Not just the you know, paper. I mean, in, you see in, that in, little hutch in, over in, there. In, yeah. Um, if if you feel that uh, the Biden did something illegal, then he you did. have to believe that Trump did something illegal. No, that's syllogistic reasoning. No, it isn't syllogistic reasoning. No. Your reasoning is muddled. It was used by Hitler. What? It was used by Hitler. Yeah, syllogistic reasoning was uh, was, explain, was a Hitler ploy. Explain ploy-ish. syllogistic uh, reasoning. Well, if uh, I do this, then therefore you've done that. Right. Well, isn't that what Trump's saying? No, we're right. not saying that the reason that he did that was because I did this. Yeah, he wanted the Ukrainian guy to help him out because he was going to help him out if he did something for Why him. Why in the world at this point would you want to even enter in to getting Biden or getting Hunter Biden uh, about that situation in the Ukraine at this point, what because would be Trump what, said, no? What would be what would be the advantage of doing it now? What would be the reasoning for doing it now? Because you want justice? No, Trump said he didn't want to give this aid that was a uh, like three hundred million or something. He didn't want to give it if there was corruption going on in the Ukraine. Yeah, the, the, and yeah. And he said, "If you know, you can show that uh, you're you're handling uh -huh. the corruption." And how could he show that? By going after Hunter Biden. Uh huh. Okay. All right. So, uh -huh. what, 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 isn't that a squeeze play, and Phil? That's illegal. 
United States. Yeah, it's of politics. Power. Phil, it's illegal. That is it's illegal. illegal by law. And then today, this piece of shit suddenly said that whoever helped in getting the information to the uh, whistleblower has committed treason, and you know what we do with traitors. Yeah, you shoot them. Yeah, is that, is, that, is that really a good idea for a president of the United States to send that message to a yeah, gun? To no, his, I, I, wait a I minute, let me finish. To his gun-wielding public? Yes. I don't know. Yes, wait a minute, you much, just said yes. Why yes, Phil? Because I don't know that any of that is true. Uh, I have heard so much misinformation Phil, I being heard attributed the, to Trump. Today, I heard the recording of him saying that himself. I heard Biden saying that he put the, Phil, the arm on forget, Ukraine for a billion dollars. Biden, Biden isn't president. He hasn't he been vice president. He hasn't been vice president for many a year now. Doesn't matter. Okay, he is not the what president you, of the United a, States. A of we're, 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 when he's president of the United States and he does a criminal act, then you can go ahead and try to impeach him. But right now, we're talking about a man who has the power and he was using it wrong. Okay? So if you found out that somebody had the power and was using it wrong, you don't call him on the carpet because he doesn't have the power anymore? Phil, why is he going Where after Biden at this point? What advantage does he have in going after Hunter Biden? Why was that so important to him? Guys, that the he, kid's dead. He, he had to do He, he wanted to do the son. Huh? No, that's is, the other son. That's the other son. Oh, I'm sorry. That's oh, the I'm other sorry. son. He has, believe it or not, he has one that's alive. Okay. <laughs> Um, oh. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but Is that what Trump's going He's out doing telling it his crazy people to go shoot him? What were you He's saying, Charlie? Election. Charlie? He's afraid that Biden oh. is going to... Not uh, when Trump is, is instigating his crazy followers to go shoot him. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Like George Wallace got shot that time. Like that, right? And now we have, we have Biden out on the stump going from town to town. And maybe some guy with a gun says, hey, the, the Trump said we should kill the traitors. Yeah, Benedict Arnold, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, you should have more responsibility as president. He has no, right. he you know what he has, Phil? He like has that. no concept of what being president of the United States is about. That not only are you the leader of a country and not only are you making decisions for a country, but you're the moral tone of the country as well. And he is a terrible, terrible moral arbiter. Depends on what you think uh, the right morals are. Well, if I mean, the right if the right morals said, are are threatening people, the right morals are twisting arms. If the right morals are telling your people that hey, these kind of guys should be shot, then I suppose he's a very moral human being. Well, you say you heard this. I didn't hear it. I heard the recording of him saying it. Hey. And and you say it's probably you know Phil, that any Phil, recording that I, I heard a is, recording is I heard a recording of him talking to a group of people and telling them that uh, uh, whoever the uh, wh whistleblower was helped by is a traitor and you know what we do with traitors am I right Charlie you heard did you hear the recording yeah. he the president of the United States should be recording. able Phil we heard should, no, he should. The shouldn't. president should be able to have a conversation with another head of state without. You're changing uh, the topic, some, Phil. We were talking. No, I'm, we, no, we, we were talking. The guy we is were talking. A traitor. We were talking. How's he a the, traitor? Uh, because he leaked information to the mm -hmm. CIA agent or a possible CIA a whistleblower, agent. Whistleblower. A whistleblower. Whistleblower. Yeah. Is that? Wait a minute. Wait a That's not. That's not a traitor. That's a hero. I said the whistleblower yep. wasn't the traitor. No. The traitor he, was the person who was supposed to keep the information. He, he was uh, a hero as well. Confidential. He's a hero but as he, well. He, he means the guy that was You don't know what a hero is, right? Phil. But then again, you wouldn't know. You were never in the military. Yeah. That guy that was testifying, um, the Navy SEAL guy, is that who he means as the no. traitor? No, 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 no. That, you mean McGuire? He's the uh, no. He was a good guy. The admiral. That's now the. Um, I felt kind of sorry for him today uh, because yeah, they beat I, him up. I, no, as no, it wasn't that they were beating him up. As I watched him, he kind of looked to me like the kind of guy who this just wasn't his 
uh, his, his place to be. He wasn't a public person. He wasn't okay. a public speaker or any of that. Now he was being called to account in this situation. He's only the acting, right? He's only been there. He was only there what, four days uh, so before he got this thing? Yeah. So, I mean, it, 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 he almost seemed like, you know, this really isn't my, my uh, the place that I... Some I, of those Republicans really try to grill him, you know, the ones that are trump He did a good job. You know, he, did a fine, he did a good the, job, but what I'm saying, here's what bothered me about those hearings, okay? I'm so tired of this partisanship, you know? I wanted to hear one Republican just ask a decent question. Right. An investigative yeah. kind of question. The one guy kept talking about the spin. Oh, now they're going to put a spin on it. And everything. Yeah, they, all well, they were doing they, were giving the little spin. Republican speeches rather than saying, well, I want to learn just like everybody else here and then ask him some questions. It was only the Democrats that were asking him questions. You know, and, and I would like to see if we're going to start having these hearings that they care about getting at the truth as well. You know, and this guy wasn't there to beating a, you know, a drum for something, he was just there to tell the story, and and the the yeah, Republicans actually, weren't inquisitive enough to want to find out what it was all about. I didn't. I didn't hear. McGuire actually said that if he had known all of this was coming down the pipe, he would not have taken the job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that, he. Yeah. That, that was a good, that was pretty funny actually. <laughs> he says, "Yeah, if they would have told me that uh, that I had to deal with this, yeah, I wouldn't have taken the job." Yeah, but anyway, you know, he I says mean, he's not a politician. He's a public servant. He's not a politician. You know, part of me forty-five years. Part of me says I don't even want to talk about this shit because I'm so sick of it, and talking about it doesn't get anything done. Okay. It's um, true. Uh, and and. Uh, the, the Republicans, um, I hope they have to pay the price for all of this uh, come uh, the next election I, cycle, you know? We'll see. I, I think it's the Democrats that are going to pay the price. I, I don't think so. No. No, but, but I, I think it's going to be a landslide. For the Trump. Democrats are going to win at least 45 states. There is enough. Let's face it. There are 3 million votes out there waiting to beat him again. But there's also a whole new group of voters out there who didn't get what they thought they were going to get from Trump. The reason a lot of people yep. voted for Trump was really they didn't want to vote for Hillary. And they figured, what do we have to lose? Well, I got news for you. Look at what's happening. You had a lot to lose. Yep. All right? Um, so uh, I, you know, I don't... Um, uh, so it, 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 there's a there's a very easy path to winning for the Democrats because they already had the votes, they just need to line them up in places where they didn't have them before. Yes, so uh, Charlene. It's funny though, isn't it? Like a lot, very similar to Watergate, because wasn't Nixon running? And that's the whole thing with Watergate. He didn't trust himself the way tr uh, Trump doesn't trust himself. And he sent those plumbers in, right? And they burglarized the well, Democratic... Yeah. Here, here's uh, what happened. Here, here was Nixon's problem. Nixon had a history, even going back to college, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, taking a winning situation and turning it into a loser. Right. He was at Whittier College, and he was about to graduate at the top of his class, okay? But the night before, they were going to come out with the names of the people and the listings of the class... He broke in to look at the uh, look at the numbers. He got caught and almost wasn't allowed to right. graduate, let alone yeah. uh, find out what his number was. He immediately was taken off the list. Okay, and this kind of uh, 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 psychological behavior followed him throughout his entire career. Right. Yeah. He kept fucking up w winning yeah. situations, it was a big and, and, up. It, and in this case, he did it once again. Like okay. taping his conversation so they had evidence. Well, it wasn't it. even so much that, that, but there was no reason for him to have people go in to the Democratic right. uh, na he National was Committee. Okay. He, he, yeah, he was going to he, win in the he, landslide I, anyway. He was gonna, I don't yeah. think he ordered them to go in. He just was loyal and tried oh, to protect God. them. No, no, no. no. He, 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 no, okay. he, ordered he okayed the break-in, Phil. Yes. It's pretty well assumed. God, he where were you during Watergate, Phil, please? 
His head, yeah, his head was in the I, same. I, I was a Nixon supporter. His, 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 his head was in the same, uh, same uh, uh, acre of sand that it's in right now with this president. Um, right. But the f fact is that, that, this guy's uh, that, worse that, that uh, well, this guy is pretty much doing the same thing. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy who will do anything to win, and that includes corruption. That includes getting the Russians yeah. to help you, or getting the Ukrainians to help you, or trying to discredit your 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 competitors. I mean, he'd be better off by by trying to get the goods on uh, on Elizabeth Warren, or get the goods on uh, a couple of other people before Biden, because I don't know that Biden's going to stay the course. Right, Biden right. won't. That's what's so nope. weird. And Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders are not electable. I think Elizabeth Warren is far more electable than you I think. think. You're wrong. Uh, now she just screams. No, she doesn't she's scream. Done nothing. She doesn't scream. I can't wait. Wait a minute. For her I, wait a minute. When have you it. ever heard her scream? Uh, every time she talks. She, no, she doesn't scream. She sounds angry. She's very, no. And she's, she's come up with twenty thousand plans. What are you talking about plans? Yeah, and all her yeah, plans, plans are pie in the sky. They're all pie in the sky. Because They're all bullshit. And she's lying. She's lying to you. If you think those plans are going to become reality. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're smoking something. The CPFB did. CPFB? Uh, yes, the Consumer Financial Protection Board. That became reality, and it got billions of dollars back for consumers. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, she was a consumer advocate. I got news for you. There is no way. that th This is going to be another McGovern. When, when, if, if no, Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders, you got another McGovern coming. If they no. get two electoral votes, they'll be lucky. No, nope. Phil, to begin Trump with, be to begin to with, to elect Elizabeth she won't even win Massachusetts. Uh, no, Elizabeth Warren is going to get the women's vote. There's no question about it, and she's yep. going to get the liberal vote. Now, what she's got to get is that group of people in the middle because they're the only ones that really make a difference in any election. And I think she can get them. I've, you know, I've heard her speak. She's, she's converted me. I was never an Elizabeth Warren fan, but every time I heard her speak, I heard somebody speaking who knew her stuff, much better than anybody else. You know, and she can explain. She can explain most things better than any of the other candidates. And I don't think she's going to let your boy get away with shit. I mean, if he starts doing his his shark attack like he did on that stage at the uh, at the second uh, uh, debate with Hillary, if he started following Elizabeth Warren around, she would fucking tell him to sit his ass down. He doesn't have to. Elizabeth Warren will hang herself. And, you know, uh, uh, Hillary Phil, was Phil, a better you're candidate talking, you're than talking Elizabeth about, Warren's. You're woman. talking about a candidate uh, that uh, you don't really know that well. You just look upon her as, oh, that liberal Elizabeth Warren. The fact is, I have watched this woman as a liberal, okay, and watched her and, and seen her work her way into my good graces simply by the force of ideas and the force of her own uh, uh, belief in things. You just want to be lied to. I, I don't. I don't see how. You, you know that everything she's talking about is total bullshit. It's never going to come to pass. What, what do you want somebody like that that's just selling pie in the sky? Universal it's health two care. chickens in every pot. Tell me about the pie in the sky she's selling. Phil. Bullshit. Tell me. You know, it give me was an two example. chickens in every pot. No, forget this about it. This one's going to be free. This and free no, that. Give, give me an example. Give me an example. Uh, she, uh, I believe that her platform is she wants uh, Medicare for all, and uh, she uh, wants to. Uh, she wants to forgive. She wants to forgive all student debt. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a very similar we platform. We forgave the bank debt. Well, they didn't In forgive 2008, the bank. Debt. We forgave that. Why can't we forgive student debt? No, they they didn't forgive the bank debt. They stole Hell people's they homes. Didn't. They stole their homes. They 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 let them get oh, they, involved they, they, in they, buying they, them, and then they banks stole them. Trillions of dollars in bank debt. I remember guys talking in the gym in the morning. They were buying 500 homes at a time in clusters uh, through the through the bankruptcies. Uh, not the bankruptcies. The uh, you know when they were taking the homes uh, from. Yeah. Yeah, the foreclosures. Uh, that that was a scam, and the government was in on it. Mm-hmm. 
Who was president the, at the time? Uh, Obama. No. No, that was Bush. No, Bush. It was Bush. Uh, it started under Bush, no, but it, it was Bush. Under Obama. Uh, yeah, because Obama had to take the problem and solve it, and he did. Yeah, so people weren't losing their houses. No, they lost their house. No, but he, saw, yeah, but he solved the problem, but he simply inherited it, Phil. That situation right. was created well, and, 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 and trademarked like that, yeah. by... Uh, they, yeah, they, they talked about loan modification. Nobody got one. Some people did. Yeah, very few. I worked few. in that field during... Phil, the whatever you say, uh, the economy you see today started under Obama. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you, you couldn't go any further again. down. When Obama took over, there, there was no no place to go but up. And we the, kept going up, and we kept going 5, up, and we kept going up. Things are kind of turning around, and they're going they down. down. We went up at an anemic rate. No. At a very no, anemic no. rate. I'm sorry, Phil. Uh, anybody want to call up with some figures here? No, well, you're wrong. It, it was one percent a year. We we uh, and and Obama said this is going to this is the new way it is. And Trump came in, uh, got rid of all of these many of these onerous uh, regulations. Like what? Like Obama, the one like the ones that kept us from uh, kept us breathing. See, Obama didn't get uh, kept he, giving he us decent rule. drinking water. Phil kept yeah, he, j j and like yeah. in Flint, like in Flint. Flint happened how many years that ago? Was Phil? Under that was under Bush. That was, that under, was under Democratic. Republic no, rule. it was under Bush. No, it, it it was under a Democratic rule. The mayor of Flint, all of those people, Democrats, and they are to blame. They were taken out of office by the Republican governor Snyder with his super with his super because they were whatever. because of the inept uh, uh, way that they were right, dealing they, with the situation. The water got and that had nothing to do with the Democratic mayor. That was the Republican fucking governor. No, that, that was their choice. Yeah, by the way, it Matt, Cra the Matt, Crash, Matt Crash writes, Phil is saying pie in the sky, and yet he supports the guy who said Mexico was going to pay for the wall. Right. They right. will. Talk about pie in the sky. They will. Oh, they will? He's, yeah. he's already admitted they're not going to. You know, when... Uh, when my father grew up in Brooklyn, oh, here we go. Uh, the, here we the go. tough guys used here to charge go. a nickel to get across the street. Yeah, here we go. So I my father got together with his friends, and they got six-inch pieces of rubber hose, and they charged the tough mm -hmm. guys mm -hmm. a dime to what get What does back. that have to do with I, what we just said? Well, it's going to be a similar thing. All these Mexicans are in this country. When they find out they can't work and they want to get back, he'll charge them. You know, they'll pay for the wall. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, by the way, good news. Here's something. I, I, I'm losing faith in, as you know, I was mentioning last night in uh, consumer uh, support, customer support. Yeah. Uh, but I had a deal with, uh, with Apple because my Mickey Mouse won't give me the time, won't say the time. Did they call and, you? And, wait a minute. And, it, and Marjorie had the same problem. And a friend of hers who also has an Apple Watch has the same problem as well. All right? So uh, this woman at Apple who was down in South Carolina or somewhere, uh, the other day when I was talking to her, said, well, look, here's what we'll do is I will check with my department, uh, the watch department, and uh, I'll get back to you. Uh, when's a good time for you on Thursday? And I said, 3 o'clock, okay? Today on the 2nd at 3 o'clock, my phone rings. And it's the woman from South Carolina. I didn't have to wait on the line with the stand to buy music or whatever. And she says, I just wanted to call you and tell you, I haven't gotten anything back from my people yet, uh, but uh, I hope to maybe by tomorrow. So I will call you again tomorrow at 3 o'clock, and we'll see if they have anything. If they don't buy then, they, I know, are working on a modification for the watch operating system that may go out in a couple of days. And that may, it, it, it obviously looks like it's a problem with the operating system because it doesn't happen to three different people um, that you know, you know, she said. So we'll get the problem solved. Mickey shall talk again. Tim Cook knew you liked that feature. Yeah. So he took it out. Yeah. Oh. And then, he, then you can download it as an app and you can pay $1.99. Oh, okay. You yeah. want Mickey to talk. Oh, okay. Was that a joke? 
No. Oh, okay. It's, well, it's I, what Apple does. Oh, it's what Apple does, I see. You know, they give you, you know, for a little while, you liked it. You know, you can't get it anymore. You're going to have to download it as an app. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, Talking Mickey app. Yeah. So anyway, um, oh, I got a, um, here's, here, here's another story that, you know, I'm tired of talking about fucking Trump. Wish he'd just fucking die. It's like First a soap opera. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that'd be the easy way out, right? <laughs> yeah, but then we get, then we get, then we, then we get that religious oh, I know. Yeah. Can you imagine if he took a massive heart attack, Trump, right on live TV? Oh, it's, I po wonder, it's, it's possible. Oh, it's possible. He doesn't look well. You know, I wonder how they would be like. Is he's, he a dead? he's a fat. He's a fat. He's, he's a fat pig. He's waiting to die. I mean, I would love to see the reaction of the people. Imagine if press starts clapping. I think he's gone. <laughs> like, yeah, then Pence would have to go too because anyway, if that happens, a uh, couple of paranoia stories. Um, Vaping products, one of the fastest growing segments of the legal marijuana industry. Now, why have they suddenly said the legal marijuana industry? Before vaping marijuana ever came into being, it was vaping tobacco that people were kind of yeah. doing as a way of, of, of not smoking, okay? Uh, although I don't think it, it was delivering nicotine, so I don't see how it changes the... Uh, the Twelve dead now. 12 dead out of how many? I don't know. You can have a death watch. Wait a minute. Like out of how many? Bridge. How many? Somebody dies because they were vaping. We don't know that they died directly from vaping. They just say another vapor just died. So we have, what, 11 now? Out of how, ma how many people are vaping in this country at the present time? 12 less. 12 less, well, yeah. 12 dying in a mass shooting is a small number. You're right. You're right. Compared to yeah, a mass shooting. Yeah, but they're not shooting. blowing smoke. Yeah, but uh, uh, the fact of the matter is that I think that uh, while, you know, any, any form of smoking is bad, I think this whole thing about them going crazy over this vaping thing, they say, oh, there have been 500 cases of people getting sick from vaping, all right? And I said to Marjorie tonight when they said this on the news, yeah, ever since they started looking for it, you know, I mean, maybe people were getting sick from it before and we didn't know about it. The point is that I don't think it's the vaping it's in particular. Marijuana. I don't think it's the marijuana. Uh, I think it's whoever is like in states where marijuana isn't legal or making these cartridges, you know, flavors, and putting adulterants flavors. in them. Uh, my Isn't it the vitamin E, they said? that uh, sort it, of an oil. That it's an oil, yeah. Well, there were some people who were vaping vitamin E, and that could be. I mean, that rather than look for the adulterants, which are causing the problem, they're just saying, oh, vaping, period, is bad. All well, right? a lot of young people are, are vaping, and these flavors that they come up with, these nicotine flavors, uh, uh, tobacco flavors like bubble gum and things like that are there to appeal to younger uh, the youth and then they get them hooked on nicotine and eventually they start smoking cigarettes you know uh, uh, it's uh, or Gee, nicotine Phil, I mean let, they let just me, get let, some me hooked. Let, let me write that down I think I, I, I did you just think that up yourself Phil uh, yeah okay. uh, you know the the thing is you know, if you indoctrinate them early, I mean, what 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 reasonable person smokes? Uh, you know, uh, other than menthol, smokes uh, bubble well, I, gum. I, I I I vape. Okay, I vape marijuana. All right, I find it's really good to put me to sleep at night. The only thing I find it's a little harsh, and, and these are these, so's rubbing one off. Well, these are flavored marijuana. Uh, you know, little flavors yeah. put into them, which I told Marjorie to try and see if we can find non-flavored uh, ones. Uh, but in any event, it is a little rough on the on the on the throat. But that's about it, you know. Um, and these things are from a company that's reputable that makes these marijuana cartridges and the and the vaping pipe themselves. Um, so. You know, if, if you buy them from reputable, nobody's talking about what if they're reputable. 
Uh, nobody's you, talking about is it the vaping itself that's causing it or is it the adulterants that are causing it? I suspect it's the adulterants. Do you take a, a very deep uh, a vape breath yes. uh, when, when you do it? Of course. And, you know, maybe that maybe it's too much for people's lungs and uh, you know you, you could you could do you could do too much i mean too much of a good thing sometimes is bad i don't uh, think so you know i do two tokes a night that's it you know yeah but i would do you know, I, I, would, I, I would i've do, been in traffic where people were vaping in their car and the window was down like you know three quarters of an inch and there were clouds of uh of Smoke, that or whatever smoke. it is. That is the smoke. You know, Phil, Phil, that's how much you know about this. You know shit. Uh, I see the clouds. That's not smoke, Phil. That's, that's not, not smoke. Or vapor, Tell or whatever it it's, is. It's vapor. It is liquid vapor. It is like uh, fog. Well, maybe this fog is, is causing people's no, lungs to collapse. I don't think so. Uh, I, I think collapse. that it's whatever they are inhaling into it because the cartridge is either... Uh, made in a lot of states because marijuana isn't legal are made illegally they found a lot of illegal labs you know uh, in, 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 in various states they busted one the other day big one they could uh, be putting all sorts of shit into, exactly. into it well, that's too what I'm saying, fentanyl Phil. that's what I'm saying Phil yeah. that's what I'm what saying if, it's the yeah, so you mean you think they're putting illegal drugs like fentanyl and those no, kinds of things I don't think they're putting that... fentanyl in there no no all right, because uh, they just they just busted a big coke bust, and uh, the coke was laced with fentanyl. Yeah. Well, this is what happens when you make uh, drugs illegal. There, there's some Phil, new Phil, drug that's war. what happens when you make drugs illegal. If you well, make uh, drugs legal and you bring yeah. them into a legal framework, then you don't have this illicitness going on and these, these drugs which are killing people. Coke should not have fentanyl in it. Coke should be cocaine. If you're going to lace it with anything, you lace it with some mannitol and you shit your brains out, okay? You know, but that's it. Uh, but if, they're, if they are lacing it with other stuff to make it somehow seem better, uh, that's the danger. And the, and the reason they do that is because it's illegal. So why shouldn't they do something illegal in the selling of it? There's some new drug lord uh, that, that's come up in Mexico. It's, uh, it's El Maduro or some, something like that. And uh, they showed this big bust where uh, they had these bricks of coke, and they said that they're laced with fentanyl, which will kill you. Uh, and just maybe they're putting, you know, they're putting it in other stuff. Like, all I'm uh, saying, vape. Phil, if we started legalizing all this shit, and I'm including heroin, all of it, we will be saving lives, okay? Yep. Because pe because we'd be able to have a legal way for people to get this stuff and then we would be able to have the government control the dosages control what was in this stuff control what uh, adulterants go into it you know so i mean you, I, you I, know you've said that you know some people who do heroin are functional but most people who do heroin are nothing but uh you know criminals and uh you're absolutely uh, wrong phil you're absolutely yeah. wrong, they, and and they're not. Functional. And I'm surprised. I'm they're surprised. turning tricks. To I'm, get it. I'm, I'm, oh boy. <laughs> Some people who are cocaine users are what we call weekend uh, 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 heroin users, and they have jobs in corporations, and they get high on heroin by snorting it. For instance, as an example. Yeah. Uh, all I'm saying is. That I don't care. I'm not. I don't think we should put a judgment on any of these drugs. We should care more about the American public being safe in the usage of them. And the only way you're going to do that is by making everything legal. Okay. Well, if they didn't use them. It would be safe. You know? But but then you're not going to stop that, Phil. Don't be don't be naive. Okay. That's not naive. No, you're not going to stop arrest people. Arrest the motherfucker. You're not going to. Oh yeah, arrest them. That's good. these are people that are simply using a drug. They're not selling it or doing anything else. And you want to arrest them? That's good, Phil. Well, when they bust into your apartment and they steal your TV set. When, when did they, they bust into your apartment and steal your TV set? Well, actually, in 1978. Where? Uh, San Francisco. Uh huh. I, I lived across the street from the Russian consulate. On I see. green and maybe, lion. Well, maybe it was because it was the communists. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it might have been the comments. Actually, they so. were pretty nice. I, actually, uh, Walter uh, uh, Haas, uh, he, he was also my neighbor. Wally Haas. He lived across the street. What? Amy and... Uh, Where, Amy in New York? Haas. Oh, no, on, uh, on uh, What does that have to Lion. do with you being in New York in 1978? No, this wasn't in New York. This was in San Francisco. Oh, in San Francisco. Okay. Well, anyway. You asked me when I got broken into. Okay, well, good. I'm glad you got broken into. You deserve it. Uh, <laughs> they, they stole my 27-inch TV, and that was a good TV back in the day. Listen, I give them credit, because oh, yeah. if you can lift one of those fucking 27-inch TV sets yeah, and get it out, you, you deserve to have it, and, and the hernia you got lifting it. Yeah. You know? But they missed a jar of Quaaludes. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I had a jar of 500. What? I had a jar of 500 Quaaludes. Really? Were you yeah. selling them? Selling? Were you selling them? Uh, no. You were using them? Is that I had them. A buddy doing? of mine was uh, was selling them. He he had he was friends with Aurora Rep, and uh, he was selling cases of them. And uh, was so that illegal? Me. Hmm? Was that legal or illegal? No, it was illegal. And he worked for the cops, Alex. For free. Look at this. Well, that was in '78. <laughs> 77, oh, did, is there a possibility you stole your own television set? <laughs> you might not remember. <laughs> no, actually, I, I went to Perry's. I had a big party at my house, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and I went to Perry's with a girl the next day uh, down on uh, Union Street. I came back, and somebody had broken in and oh, uh, stole my TV, stole a few other things, missed the Quaaludes, though. Mm, okay. Well, anyway. All I'm saying, let's get back to the whole vaping thing. By the way, there are uh, th 13 people are dead, and it has sickened at least 105 people. But again, I'm going to ask you, how many people in America are vaping right now? Do you figure? I don't Two, know. three million maybe? Four million? At least. Yeah. Well, huh? well they well, got a hard on for this company, Jewel. Well, wait, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. So you're going to tell me that 805 people uh, sickened? When 13 people killed constitutes some kind of epidemic? That's the beginning of an epidemic. They said the same thing about AIDS. You know, what does uh, AIDS have to do with this, Phil? Because in the beginning, they were ignoring the, the signals that were going on oh, of people Phil, dying Phil, Phil, from AIDS. Phil, 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 that was hard Phil, to put together. Phil, Phil. You know, uh, it, if you want to bury your head in the sand, you know, there's a possible epidemic here. There's, you know, smoking is no good for you anyway. Epid so why have well, something okay, that... Okay, uh, all, right, all, right, all right. All I'm saying is that I think that to simply uh, go after the, the vape itself, the vaping devices, uh, is uh, a bit premature in this situation. Uh, however, the, the head of Juul has uh, quit has had to quit yeah, the company yeah. because of the way he's handling it, and they're trying to not make excuses now. Um, they're trying to change their their way of, 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 of dealing with this. Uh, but I, I just, you know, all I'm saying is I think that we, we go into a panic. It's like this, uh, this, this fear panic that we go into that all of a sudden, oh, my God, 805 people. Well, yeah, and how many people are vaping in this country? And how many times a day do they vape? You know, how many puffs do they take? Um, you said you take two, right? I do one maybe before I go to bed, or maybe maybe I might do two. Uh, All right. Yeah. I see people, uh, you know, because I drive around a lot. I see people constantly vaping. You know, they're in their car, the, yeah, but the they're, pumps but, of smoke. But they're vaping tobacco or are they vaping pot? I don't know. Okay, so you don't know. I know. I see this. I see the mist. The, the mist is, you can't tell by the mist because it puts out volumes of mist. But I don't know that it's the it's what they're vaping is the problem it may just be I, I the think vaping it's, I is think the it's, actual I think, problem I think I, th I think it's what they're vaping but they're not they haven't done studies to find out about this you know uh, and why is it all of a sudden now we see all these problems where people have been vaping for several years now 
I, I don't think it was as popular as it is today because of the Juul. Well, it, well, not just Juul. I mean, come on. There are a lot of other companies that make these things, you know. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Juul is the most popular because the Juul, I think you can actually, there's an app for the Juul. Really? You can actually find out how much pot is left in your Juul, and you can also regulate the amount of, of vapor that you take in uh, a, as a result. You can regulate. There's a regulator yeah. on this app. Uh, it, it, technologically, uh, uh, Albert had one, uh, and yeah. he showed me how it worked. Technologically, it was really amazing. I was about ready to get myself one of those because I wanted, just wanted the technology. Yeah. Um, all I'm saying is I think that they're a little premature about this, and they're going, uh, and they're talking about the THC vapes, okay, which probably would be the, the ones that would have the most illicitness in them because, you know, in a state like New York, it's very hard to, to get a, a vape uh, cartridge uh, in New York City, in New York Do State. They know so you would have the... to go get some illegal ones. Of, yeah. of, you said 105 sick and 13 dead. Do they know uh, what those people were vaping, whether it was a THC product or uh, a tobacco product? Well, they say product? the ailment has sickened and you know, many people, blah, 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 but many reported using oil containing THC, marijuana's high-inducing ingredient, and said they bought the product from pop-up shops and other illegal sellers. So what we're mm. talking about here is that we're, we're besmirching an entire industry that's legal in some states, like California, like Colorado, uh, how many other states now, Washington, D.C., uh, around the country, where it is legal, uh, and we're besmirching those because some people are doing it illegally. We sh what we should do is legalize marijuana in every state and let people get the decent goods, not the, you know. Are you, are you sure that they're not buying the legal cartridges and they just bring it, them in the states where it's illegal? You, I just read to you, Phil. Yeah, but Wait you a know, minute. who knows where the cartridges are coming from? The death is you know, linked they're, they're, to THC vapes bought at legal shops occurred, uh, 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 bought at, v, uh, at uh, legal Papa. shops occurred in Oregon where health officials on Thursday announced a second fatality and urged people to stop vaping. Uh, the only death, the only death linked to THC vapes bought at legal shops occurred in Oregon. Okay, one. So the rest were tobacco or, or illegal uh, THC? Uh, illegal THC or illegal substances in other states. And as you say, there's this vitamin C that some of them were... Um, uh, uh, no, having. vitamin E. Was it E? E oil, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, the, you know, I mean, it, 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 it really is a question of that we have to bring all drugs into a legal framework and protect people. That's the way you protect people. You know, you don't protect them by making something illegal and then having them have to buy it off the street. That's, that, that creates, an, it not only does it create uh, uh, bad drugs, but it also creates an illicit trade that criminals can make money off of. You know, uh, for instance, with illegal fireworks, they're illegal in some states, legal in Why others. Why are we talking? Are you changing? So, We're not talking fireworks. No, no, yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is I think why wouldn't they be buying these cartridges in states where it's legal and then selling them these pop-up shops? Yeah, well, they're there's one difference. The if, you get, if you get a cartridge that's been made and, and sold... Uh, using certain um, legal m methods and, and proportions and so on is dictated by law. That's different than fireworks, which I don't care what kind of fireworks are. They can still blow your fucking fingers off. Are you sure that the legal vape industry that are making these things to a legal standard? Or are they just doing whatever I they want to do? I believe that in the states where marijuana is legal, the states do control uh, and test all these uh, all these cartridges. Yes, I don't know, but I you know I live in a I don't do it, but I live in a state where it's legal. Yeah, and, and uh, you don't know the first thing about it because you don't buy it. Right. You know I'm using legal vape uh, legal uh, marrow THC cartridges that uh, we got from somebody who brought them in from California. You know, mm. come come arrest me, folks. Yeah. You got your yeah. handcuffs there. Yeah. Um, 
But got anyway. my jar of quaaludes back there. Yeah. Uh, there was another story here that I wanted to bring up. Oh, yeah. So we were talking about um, people panicking about things. And now, wait a minute, where is it? Where is that story? What happened to it? I just had it here. Huh. Where is it? Oh, fuck. Oh, maybe, maybe it's here. Ah, hold on. I gotta get the rest of my air here, here. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Because you know it, what we're talking about here is what I consider unreasonable fear in in the in the absence of uh, good thinking. Okay. Um, moviegoers are playing who are planning to see Todd Phillips' Joker in its upcoming opening weekend. The movie opens October fourth, by the way. Landmark Theaters is insisting that everyone leave their clown mask, face paint, and other costumes at home. Hmm. Uh, yeah. uh, TMZ reports the chain's ban on clown gear comes as a number of fans have expressed interest in dressing up like uh, the titled Batman villain for screenings. That's a great idea. You know, ne next, uh, they'll get rid of Santa Claus. Well... Uh, also, uh, what they're saying now is the Century Aurora. Does that theater sound familiar to yeah. you? That's the one. Century, I heard of. That, that was the one where Batman oh, was oh. playing, and they the guy went in with uh, a, a Columbine a, or not Columbine? No, the, uh, I, I, Aurora. Uh, uh, Colorado. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Aurora, Colorado. Uh, uh, um, they're not going to show it. No? <laughs> yeah, they're not going to show it. On the other hand, some theater chains apparently are not taking special are taking not taking special precautions related to the Joker. Regal Cinemas tell us, whoever wrote this, it doesn't think the Joker poses a specific risk because we do not believe the content or existence of a movie is a cause or a signal for violence. That, that being a, a re Regal rep added their theaters are in regular contact with law enforcement year-round, so they always have info to help make whatever security assessments are necessary. Now everybody's panicking over whether a movie might cause exactly. problems. Is uh, this crazy? I couldn't believe yeah. when I was reading these stories. They, they, they're thinking that the one person wrote a review on I was reading I got so disgusted. The lady, I forgot which one it was for, she goes, it's her opinion. She goes, she's afraid that the angry, alienated white guy may take this as a message to go crazy. Really, lady? Yeah, that, Come on. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. what it is is uh, what I read was that, you know, remember that Batman Infidels. movie? Infidels. Give me a break. Where yeah. they came in and shot up during the Batman Yeah, well, movie. that's the one we were talking about, Aurora. Yeah. No, no, but I mean, this Joker movie, they're afraid that if people start dressing up and stuff like that, it could be the same thing. Because something about somebody said uh, the Joker or something during in that other shooting in Aurora. They said the Joker or something. That's what I read. Yeah, and 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 what so other what, something uh, like that'll happen. And what other movies have they had where people show up in costumes and do cosplay? You know, this is yeah, a modern it's only been that one cosplay is a, is a modern thing that we do and people do and enjoy. And uh, uh, so you want to show up dressed as the Joker? So what? They used to do that at the Rocky it's Horror. Went to the midnight screening in Queens. They would dress yeah, up. Rocky yeah. Horror. We had Rocky Horror. That was the progenitor of all like that. that. Dress up with the other people. You know, uh, I guess we better stop uh, 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 Cinecon, uh, you know, or, or what is it? What's it? Uh, Comic-Con. Uh, because Comic Yeah, I mean, and I don't get dressed know. up, but I find it cool when they dress up. They're just having fun. Yeah, yeah. You know what I think? You know what these? You know what they don't? You know what they don't realize? I was reading one review, and I think I didn't see the movie, of course, yet. But I'm just trying not to read about it. Mm -hmm. They're worried about that it may show a me the, the disregard for the person with a mental illness. Well, you know what? Didn't Reagan, Alex, close down the mental facilities? Uh, I was it Reagan? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe that maybe that does have it. You know, maybe that did have an effect on the Looney Tunes coming out. Well, look at New York. It had, a, a, it had a great deal of effect on California. And, they don't want, and sometimes, if they don't, I don't think they like hearing something that might hit home a little bit. Like, hey, maybe they are raising a decent. In fact, point. a lot of these people who are living on the streets in California, the result of that uh, that uh, that whole thing that went on with Reagan years ago. Yes, uh, yes, Charlene. Well, you know, I see the uh, commercials and everything, and I've read some stuff about it. And it looks like, you know, Joaquin uh, Phoenix is doing a great job in this thing. But 
what exactly does it have anything to do with Batman? Because I'm thinking of like Batman and the Joker. Is that what yeah. the movie's about? Well, no, Joker, uh, Batman. The I don't Joker. think is in, is involved in this. That's what as I, it looks like to me. That it's a, it's a total different thing. Even though yeah. it looks like the Joker, it has nothing to do with Batman. Well, no, it's 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 the evolution and the evolving of yeah. the Joker and how he oh, okay. came to After be. Okay, after Batman or something. Or... You know, this is the tenth retelling of this. They did the whole thing on Gotham a while yeah. back. You know, yeah, they're going after clowns illegally. I'm... I don't like what they're doing though, when they start bad mouthing things like that. They don't even, I don't know. I think they're trying to make a name for themselves. I well, don't really like it. It doesn't seem valid. Well, 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 look, to begin with, to begin with, Warner Brothers is probably sitting there. How much are they going to make now? Yeah, so doing this. Okay. Uh, you give know. some more bad press because we'll make more yeah, money. Yeah, because now everybody, I wasn't even aware the well, movie was, I press. wasn't even aware the movie was coming out. Now I want to go see it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to wait two weeks, though, because it's going to come out Comic-Con weekend, so I won't go. I'll wait for the following weekend, like a Saturday. Yeah, you know, I go to the uh, Comfy Chair Theater. I order a seat uh, ahead of time, and then I go in yeah. and just sit down and watch it, you know. But it's got, you know, it's got any interest. I mean, of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know, I really wonder, Alex, I really wonder if a lot of the old movies probably would never have flew today. Oh. They probably would have destroyed them. Oh, Tony, I just uh, watched Taxi Driver on Netflix oh. the other day and I said to myself, Ooh. I don't know if this movie would be, you know, would that oh, be They would go crazy. That movie was crazy. If that movie came out today, they would be complaining oh. that it incited people to kill, to try and kill uh, public figures, if, you know, politicians, because right. that's what he was doing. And Alex, that was a great movie because it showed Times Square when it was really seedy. Right. Did he take Jodie right. Foster to the X-rated movie? Yeah. They would have went crazy. But that would have got like an X-rated rating. Yeah. Like, oh, you, you can't put this out. Yeah, yeah you could. I mean, they just, you don't have to like it, but... Yeah. Uh, 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 the movie that they went to see in the porno theater, do you remember what the what movie was? was? No, I don't it was remember. It was called Sometimes Sweet Susan, and the film actually existed, and it was produced oh, no. by a guy who went on. It was a porno film. He was in it. He starred in it, and then he and he produced it, and then he went on to become the head of Columbia Pictures. Wow. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Holy Probably shit. Probably the biggest success in the porno business. He went on and became the head of uh, Columbia Pictures. You won't have to be allowed today if they found out, right? <laughs> yeah. They'd make a big thing That's out of it. In fact, I remember interviewing the guy when uh, the picture came out because we did him for Midnight Blue. And uh, he... Uh, um, he and then he he disappeared for a while. And next thing he cropped up, he's the head of uh, Columbia Pictures. <laughs> and you're going, you know. I think one day they finally got rid of him when they found out about that, though. Did yes. they have a porno uh, division? Uh, no, that they do now. Uh, uh, Charlene, you have your hand up. You've got isn't time there, for. Isn't there a Scorsese movie? This is good. Go with it. Scorsese's coming up with something. What is it about? Like it's, it sounds good. It's going to be on Netflix. I'm oh yeah, yeah. What is that looks has got some good movies coming. Yeah, and it's What's De Niro, it's De Niro and Pesci. Oh, that's and, and right. Pacino. I can't wait to and see Pacino, Pacino Alex. Yeah. Jimmy yeah. Hoff. Yeah, I'm excited for that. So uh, you know, it's, it's, you know. It sounds pretty good to me. You know, I'll be there. Well, I, I I'm there already. I just have to turn on my yeah, TV. Yeah, we can still on the couch. That's I can't wait. I'm gonna watch it on my Yeah. Room. Yeah. Hey, listen, that's it for this evening. Um, gee, folks, if more people don't call, I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm going to do this one day a week, okay, you know, uh, because I don't know what's happened. It's very slow this week, and it's like pulling teeth. And while make I Make people make reservations. Well, I, I enjoy, uh, you make people do reservations. Yeah, uh, while I do enjoy the hell out of talking to yeah. Phil, uh, I would not want to be left in this room alone with him, okay? Thank I'll you. I'll put on my clown cool. mask. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, You're Charlie. Welcome. Thank you, Charlene, and, and thank you, Tony, with that hideous wallpaper. Uh, why don't you all give a big, just goodbye, if you will. Just wave goodbye to everybody. Nobody, come on, wave. I haven't got your audio on, Phil. Everybody wave there. Come on, come on, everybody. There we go. Okay, all right. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, that's it for tonight. Oh, boy. If, if tomorrow night it's slow like this, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway. Uh, but it still it was a good show. I can't complain. I think we actually had a good discussion, although Phil drives me uh, crazy. Hey, listen. Next is the intersection with Jack Bishop at uh, 
Uh, he'll be next. And then uh, tomorrow night at uh, 930. Yes, of course, as always, you know, folks, it's the uh, exchange with uh, Damian Chaplin. And then uh, closely followed by another guy at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, me. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.